and welcome to day one of the winter bulk. The winter bulk officially starts today. Well, technically it started yesterday, but I didn't make a video. I did make a video, but it was only at the gym. And someone in the comments said, oh, I want to see what you're eating, what you're eating throughout the day. So I thought, why not just make a full length video where I show what I'm eating, what exercises I'm doing at the gym, combine the two because I've already been doing like gym videos, but I haven't been showing you what I've been eating. So I thought the winter bulk starts today on this video. So let's go. First meal of the day, we are having cereal. My favorite cereal It is crisp cereal from Harvest Morn. You can just get this at Aldi. Um, but I am obsessed with this. I have like two or three bowls of this a day. So I'm gonna start out by pouring some crisp cereal, try not to spill any, there we go, and I usually fill it about three quarters, three quarters of the bowl, so that's about 150 grams, that's how much I pour, about three, three quarters of the bowl, and then you just get your strawberry milk, and then I just get my strawberry milk out of the fridge, can just use any strawberry milk but also I get this one from Audi as well and I pour about 150 milliliters of this as well so I just pour it on top and then you just keep pouring until you can start to see it come through and that is looking very scrumptious so that is my first meal of the day let's give it a quick taste and then I will add it I will track it on the app. The app I use to track my calories is called Chronometer. Should be able to see a little button here. It's an orange button, you just click it. And then from there you can add your food or scan a barcode, literally. Literally all you do is you scan the barcode of the product. So say I've got my milk, I just scan the barcode here, enter the amount of well, food I had, so I just enter 150 milliliters and I'd enter 150 grams of cereal and then it just tracks the calories. So let's do that for today. Let's go to diary. Today I have had zero of everything. Today I need to have 2,200 calories, but I'm aiming for like 3,500. So because I'm on a bulk, because, yeah, because I'm on the winter bulk now, I'm really up in the calories. Yesterday I had 3,700 calories, and the day before that I had 30, 31, 3,100 calories, 3,100. So what you do, I'm just going to add, well, I'm going to scan it actually. So literally all I do is just scan the barcode like that, and it says 200 milliliters, so... But it says 200 milliliters for one serving, so I think that is about 200 milliliters to be honest. Because I had a bowl of cereal yesterday and we used, yeah, it's about half full, so I'll just put 200 milliliters. I'll probably have more strawberry milk throughout the day, so just put one and then click add to diary. Then add the cereal by scanning the barcode as well. And we had 150 grams of that. And so far today, we have had seven, well, nearly 800 calories. Why am I even showing you? <laughs> I should just not show you the screen because it's literally just a bright light. But basically, um, well, I'll try, I'll try and put on screen now what, it, what the dashboard looks like. I'll put on screen now all the statistics. Basically, I've had... It says I've got 793 calories like eaten today. Well, I haven't eaten it yet. It's still here. <laughs> Sorry, I've been talking a lot. I need to actually start eating. Um, and I need 1,400 calories like more. And then I need an extra like 1,000 calories on top of that. So let's dig in. First meal of the day. And then I'll probably, probably after this, I'll have like a few croissants. Um... I don't know, like a second breakfast in a bit. Let's just, let's just eat. <laughs> let's just eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> mm.
Now, so basically, this is what I eat every day at the start of the day. Basically, after I've woken up, I'll have a big bowl of cereal like this. Usually, it takes me about half an hour to eat. And then, once I've eaten this, I'll have a second breakfast about half an hour later. Then, when I get home, I'll have another... Well, not breakfast, because it'll be about 12 o'clock by then. I'll have, like, lunch, so sometimes I'll have an omelette. Uh, it just depends, really. But I'll track it on the app. I've just started tracking it. I started tracking on the app, like, two days ago. But officially... <laughs> Voice crack, sorry about that. But officially, the winter bulk starts today. So, I'm just going to eat this cereal and I'll tune tune in. Um, stay, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I'll, yeah, tune in and tune in in a bit. And when, probably when I'm eating my second breakfast and then we're going to do a workout at the gym, of course. See you guys in a bit. Okay, it's currently 10 o'clock, time for a second breakfast, and we're having three croissants. They should take about five minutes to cook, so let's just stick them in the oven, and then I'm going to eat them before going to the gym at about 11 or 12 o'clock. So let's just stick them in the oven. Yeah, so like I said, I'm just going to eat them, and then I will be off to the gym. Okay, second breakfast. Here we go. Three croissants, a banana, and a good old glass of orange juice. So, oh, it's leaking a bit. Let's just pour that in and have a good old glass of orange juice. And let's dig in. I'm going to start off with a croissant. Very well cooked. I think each one of these are like 200 calories, so not bad, not too bad. I'm not actually too sure, it might be more, might be less, I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm going to add it on the tracker later. Once I've finished eating, I'm going to put everything I've eaten onto the app, onto Chronometer. But for now, I'm just going to dig in. Got a lovely glass of orange juice. <sighs> Nothing beats a good glass of orange juice. And we've got a banana. So let's just... Can't open it. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> let's just get a nice bite out of this banana. And that is my breakfast sorted. So... I'm going to eat this and then we will head to the gym. Sorry, I've got my mouth full. <laughs> and we're at the gym and today we're doing back and bicep exercises. But first, I thought I'd do some shoulder press, 8 kgs, because I haven't, done, I haven't worked my shoulders in quite a while. So I thought I'd do shoulder press and then I'll move on to back exercises and then finishing it off with biceps. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good first set. I think we'll do two more sets like that. I'll just have a quick a quick rest and then we'll do another set and then another set after that and then we will do back exercises. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Okay, we'll do one more set like that. That was really good. We'll do one more set and then we'll move on to back exercises. And that's it for shoulder press. Oh. Okay, next we're doing cable low rows, 7.9 kg. And I think I'll do two sets on this because I want to do lat pull downs as well. Um, I think I'm going to do three sets on lat pull downs, so I'm only doing two sets on this. Um, 7.9 kg, so like medium to heavy weight for me. Uh, apart from that, let's go. One more. I can definitely do one more. Come on. Okay, here we go again. Cable low rows, 7.9 kg. Here we go. That's it. That's it. We're going to move on to lap pull downs. So let's go. Okay, and we're on lap pull downs. I'm gonna. Nah. We'll do 32. I was going to say I'll do 25 kg, but might as well go heavy because, you know, I only train my back like what, once or twice a week, so might as well really push myself. You can't, you can't really go wrong with the form. You just have to really like lean into it and well, kind of bend your back. 32 kg, lat pull down. <sighs> Here we go, this is going to be kind of heavy, so bear with me. Yeah. 
That was a really good first set. That was a really good first set. I think we're going to do one more set just like that. Another 32 kg and then we'll move on to biceps. Okay, and last, well, second set, last set. Once again, 32 kg. I was going to go lighter, but I thought that that set before that was good so i'm gonna keep it up keep the momentum going and do another one just like that here we go <sighs> That was a good second set, <laughs> only a few reps, but it was still very good. Moving on to biceps. Okay, next we're doing biceps. I'm going to be starting off with some bicep curls and then maybe one or two sets on bicep curls and then ham curls. I've got 8 kg, so. It's a bit heavy. We'll see how many we can do. Yeah, that was a good first set. I didn't expect to do that many reps, that was really good. That was a really good first set. I think we'll do another set of bicep curls and then move on to hammer curls and then we should be done. Okay, here we go again. Doing bicep curls, 8kg. And then after that, I think we'll do one set of hammer curls. Maybe two. And then we'll do post workout flex, so here we go. Okay, and final set, we are doing 8kg hammer curls. I'm really tired by this point, so I think I can only do a few reps, but I'll see. I'll try and do as many as I can. Here we go. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> 
Okay, and that's it for biceps. Now just a quick post-workout flex. And here's just a quick post-workout flex. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.